Eve Levine, our referee for this middleweight bout, here tonight inside the United Center. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for all. Black trunks for Musasi. One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight are the counter shots of Gegard Musasi. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Yeah, absolutely. Both men looking <laughs> to do damage early. More great kicks from him here. He got caught, Mike. <laughs> Solid left hook to the body by Musasi. He can't connect with the kick. It's a nice jab there, Joe. Head kick. Big takedown. He postures into place. starting to swell. He avoids damage with the nice block. Oh, he answers. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Musasi with a solid leg kick. Man, he's timing his kicks well. Well-timed kick. Oh, oh with big the right hand. hand. Body kick. Beautiful hook. Big shots. Oh, stunning jab. Wow, another big jab scores. Oh, he's landing. here. Swing and a miss. Nice. Lands a giant kick. Strong jab. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. See a perfectly timed kick connects flush. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Take a seat, breathe, and relax. I need you to suck it up this round, okay? You're missing those takedowns because you're not setting them up. You're going to get countered if you do not punch into those takedowns better. You're... And the lovely Brittany gets us started for round number two. You ready? You ready? Round two. Joe, we saw a bit of action in the first round. They're getting each other's timing down, starting to figure out the distance, and I think they're going to get after it now. He slips and rips. Body. 
And he gets out. I thought he was going to have to tap. Wow. Looking for the arm bar, looking for the finish. And he got it out. Good left hand. Musasi's getting beat up on the bottom. Switches the stance. Just out of range with the head kick. Stiff jab. To the body. That swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. And he counters with the left. Oh, and he ate a front kick. Oh, oh head caught kick. Him with the kick. Nice uppercut. Oh, did he snap that kick? Solid drill. Oh, what an exchange. Oh, Joe, another strong jab. Hard straight punch. Big combination. Big wow. shot. He lands a head kick. There he is. He got the takedown. Great position. He's got him mounted out. here. He's going after a submission here. Let's see if he can pull it off. That's out. Very nicely done. Musasi with some big hammer fists. Right hand connects. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. Joe, he was literally saved by the bell. That was a deep submission. Uriah Holtz still alive, surviving a submission attempt late in that round. That was a very, very close submission attempt at the end of that round. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And let's take a look at that from a different angle. Listen, we still have another round coming up. We got another round coming up. Listen, start working your wrestling or something else. The beautiful Ariani getting us set for round number three. You ready? You ready? Third and final round. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Head kick. Solid straight. Combination left, right. Good slip. And another strike lands. He misses with the kick. Paul with a solid kick. Let's take a look at the striking accuracy for Gegard Mousasi, landing 44% of his total strikes. He just whips that punch in. Paul's eyes are both starting to swell pretty badly. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, very nice. Big kick just missed. in the half guard. Let's see what he can do from here. Great work from the bottom. Musasi's looking for the submission. He's looking for the mounted triangle here. And what he wants to do is, he wants to get one of his opponent's arms down, put his leg behind his opponent's head, then secure that ankle underneath the back of his knee, and his arm's free. Wow, very close. The battle has been action-packed since the opening bell. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. Excellent work from the bottom by Hall. Right hand. Nasty 
ground and pound elbow. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Good punch. Musasi's trying for a submission here. And he's free. Looking to do some damage from the bottom. Nasty combinations from the full mount. And full back. Looks like he grabbed a choke. He's got it under the chin now. He goes palm to palm first to try to finish it off. Oh, he's got the choke! This one goes the distance. What a battle. We saw a lot of good ground and pound in this battle tonight from both fighters. And now it will be interesting to see how that affects the judge's decision. Yeah, if you're a ground and pound fan, this was a fight for you. Lots of excellent exchanges on the ground from both fighters. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. Round three, pushes off the cage, airborne, and connects. We have our official Ladies decision. And, and here's Bruce Buffer. For decision. All three judges score this contest for 9.28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Gegard Mousasi. Gegard Mousasi, your winner by unanimous decision.